Man, what's up, y'all? It's that Run Academy, and today, bro, a lot of people been asking me to do this video on my Instagram and on my Snapchat, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Today, we're gonna be talking about my first job experience, bro. Alright, so you already know what's up, bro. You already know what's up, bro. Alright, for y'all that didn't know, I work at Down by GA, bro. I work at IGA. It'd be some good shit, it'd be some bad shit. Y'all already know what's up, but to be honest with you, when I first got the job, bro, I still remember this shit. I woke up around 12, nah, nah, it was Sunday, and I had to wake up around 10, so to, get up to go talk to Mike and all that shit. Y'all already know what's up. I got that shit. He told me all the shit I need to do. He be, t he be telling me, he told me about every damn thing in that shit, bro. He told me some good shit, told me some bad shit, some shit I ain't gonna fucking hear. No, I was even going down long. I was getting that damn money. Then the third day I was at down job, bro. Nerd, nah, nah, nah. I ain't gonna do it like that. I'ma put it like this. I was supposed to go to work on that. On the next day after that. But I got a car accident. I'ma say that for another damn story. Alright. So y'all already know. Next week, I went, bro. I went. But before that, I went to sit flat. Monday and came back, you know, working and all that shit. I was nervous as hell too, bro. But you know, it was lit. Had the corn show me what the fuck I had to do and all that. But you know, it was still kind of like I don't know why I was nervous. I guess it was my first day and I didn't know what the hell I was doing all that shit. I still remember that shit. First day, I got about five dollars worth of tips and all that shit. But hell, yeah. as you got down real with the shit. You start getting belly and all that shit, and you start to realize that shit aggravates the motherfucker, bro. But shit, yeah. I'm on like the fifth, fourth day. I ain't no mopper, bro. I'm like, damn. And then after that, bro, I was like, fuck. Uh, like, throughout the time, the first few months, you're gonna be lit because you got a job and all that shit. But at the same time, you're gonna be pissed off because dealing with customers and all them shit. Now, some of the customers, they don't know how to shut the hell up. They be bullshit and all that, but you know how it is, bro. Then someday, the customer just be lit. They just be hand you tip like, you just like, damn. Hell, they hand you something in the one people be thinking you a goddamn stripper. I know, people don't call me a stripper. They got them Walmart, goddamn fashion, goddamn fuck. Shit, it's cool. I be having so many ones on me, bro. I started to tell people that my real job stripping, bro. <laughs> but yeah, bro. Then like, it started getting good. Then like, depending on how many hours you work, depending on how much money you get, all that shit, bro. But you know, it was kind of lit. Then like, around the end of the summer, I had getting a new boss. You know, he was lit. I had to change my days up, cover football and all that. You know, then. After the football was over with, bro, it was like, it was start back in lit. I mean, like, the football season just not in. I'm starting to get my hour back. You know, I just got out work today, you know, sitting there doing all my stuff, you know, just all that real next shit. So, today, it was, it was, it was all right, but some niggas just made me mad. He gonna tell me to tie the bags up and put them back in trouble. I'm like, okay, I'm sitting at the time. Hmm. You know you ain't even had about going to my bath. I'm just saying, huh? Hmm? 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 He's like, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do it like that. All this stuff gonna fly off. I'm like, okay. Hmm? 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 Can we do it my grocery like that? You know, I used to work here. I'm like, nigga, I ain't never seen you a damn day to fuck in my life. And then I get done. I'm like, all right, have a good day. Then he like, uh, I guess you don't want no tip. I'm like, oh, then like, oh, I'm like, my y'all about to say, man, nigga, fuck your money, cause bro, that nigga only gave me one dollar. He got mad cause I was putting him bad where he told me to put him at. And nigga, how the hell this shit gonna fly fuck out? Nigga, you have fucking cans in them down bad. If you don't want me to put them there, got your ass fucking up down truck and put them in the goddamn truck. But nah, they wanna do some bullshit. So I hate them bullshit ass customers. See, I can't say shit. I want my damn job. I need that money, you know. Young boy, need that damn money and all that shit. But damn, bro, I was like, you never wanna know that. You put that time to. 
But bro, I remember the first time, it was about, it was during the summer too, bro. These people came in, they, they, they want their shit so goddamn Mississippi and all that shit. Then they were talking like, like, y'all yeah, just shut the fuck up. So like, when you, once you heard how they were talking and all that, you just, you just want to be like, shut the fuck up. All that shit, like, you just want to fucking, no, do that little pimp sound, bro. All that shit. You were like, fuck. Like, you start to see why people didn't really like the job, but, you know, still need that money, though, bro. Then, like, let me see how I'm gonna put this. Then, like, mm, like, it be lit. Then, like, like, let me tell you what, uh, you probably ain't gonna like doing that damn job. Clean the bathroom. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck that shit. The main thing that be getting on my nerve is when them people get a whole big ass buggy worth of shit. You do the shit, but the motherfucker don't tip you. Like, like, bro, like, what the hell? I done did all this shit. I could have just let your ass carry this shit the fuck out your down self. Like, the fuck? Bro, I'm feeling you now. You be having an attitude with me and I'm trying to do your down shit, I'm gonna fuck up your shit. Tip or not, I'm gonna fuck up your shit. Don't give me no damn attitude and I'm trying to do your down shit. Bro, like, real talk. You don't know how mad this video be making me, bro. Real talk. But you gotta get that down my little bro. So, it was like, every now and then, I'm gonna tell y'all the bad time I think it is to work. Saturday morning, cause them people love your ass Saturday morning. Sunday evening, it's alright. Sunday, your ass, you don't wanna work at all, but people act like they can't tip and all that. So you just sit down a little. Especially if you're working all day, you be ready to go home, bro. Okay, if you work Saturday, I mean, no, Sunday, Eating all by your down cell, you gotta clean the bathroom, you gotta dump my, you gotta mop, you gotta take the trash out, all that down shit, you just be ready to go. Especially when you mop it, you just be like, damn, I'm ready to fucking go. And then, bro, be the only bad boy, people be calling your name. What part of that, bro? People just don't know how to get the hell out of down So People like to come in there and just laugh, fucking me. Like, what the fuck do y'all be doing? Very last minute. What the fuck y'all be doing? I don't even do no last minute shit no more. I don't even do that shit no more. And nigga, I'm a fucking child. And I don't do that shit no more. Be that bullshit right there that would make me fucking mad, bro. For real time. Be that bullshit right there that would make me fucking mad. But, shit, let me see how Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I work with some fine girl, bro. They sissy. Hell. I ain't gonna even lie to you, bro. Shit, yeah. This is hell too, bro. Wow. Every girl that I work with, like, it been on and all, cause, like, I've been working with some girl, so I quit, you know, shit like that. Cause of reason and shit, but I don't work with some fine ass girls, bro. I don't work with some fine ass girls to say the job. I don't work with some fine ass girls. But, bro, y'all wanna know what the weirdest thing about this job? I'm the fuck is younger nigga. I'm the youngest person there, nigga. The youngest person. How the manager, the cashier, the bad boy. I am the youngest nigga. The youngest one in there. The youngest one in there, bro. So, shit, you already know. I just be in there, like, I'm my own damn business shit. Like, I'm the fucking youngest one in that bitch. Cause, like, I mean, like, y'all just tell me what's up about oh, this shit. I just tell them what's up. I would tell you who I work with, but I don't want to put the names on the pussy and all that. So I ain't over here doing that. So, you know, I be comfortable and shit. You know, chilling and working and all that. I fuck with everybody at my job. Why well, don't fuck? I mean, I'm cool with everybody at my job, man. I mean, I don't do shit to fuck with nobody. I don't do shit to fuck with nobody at all. You no know, shit. I'm just a simple my little, little nigga that just be going to school. But y'all know me, I'm, I'm a weird nigga, but my weirdness is acceptable. I'm an aggravating person, but people contain my, cause I know when to stop and I know how aggravating I should go. But I'm bored, you know, I can I can do shit like that. But yeah, that's it for the job, bro. I mean, like, it's simple. As long as you don't get on bullshit, it's simple and all. And I'm gonna tell y'all the, the 
to the best tips I ever got. It was pine tree. Nah, 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 nah. We had like them little hurricanes and shit, you know. People out of state, like I was talking to somebody. We were chilling outside, we were just talking because we were waiting on somebody. We chill outside just talking, bro. I swear. I about to take your stuff out. Him and his friend, like, nah, nah, don't do that. Nigga reach out, gave me a twenty dollar bill. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I'm like, bro. He like, it's all right. I'm like, bro. Thank you, bro. Then, bro, I, I, I was mad that day too, bro. Like, one shit going right. All these people bring their ass in, bro. Like, one shit going right. Second one, pine tree, bro. I swear. It was the man. I was like, I was like, that nigga seem cool, bro. Had like the wavy hair, like, you know, what's up? Yeah. Like, like, I was like, oh shit. Then like, bro, like, I took his stuff out. That man didn't even hesitate. Went in that in his pocket, like, 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 in his pocket, like, mm, mm, mm. like, like, grab all that money in his pocket. It gave it to me, bro. I'm like, bro. He said all that, yo. Bro, that nigga had about $15 worth of down ones. He gave me a bitch. I'm like, bro, what the hell? Hey, bro, when them deer hunts start coming in and all that, bro, you end up getting about $30 worth of down tips and all that shit, bro. It be that real shit. That the reason I fuck with a job, cause like, when you work, it's just go. Even if you make like $5 from sales, it's still go. Like, I just made about eight dollars a day. Put that shit in my damn car. Gas money, shit. Y'all already know. Now I got half a damn tank. Y'all already know. Bro, this shit is lit. It is the real fucking. It is the real fucking deal, bro. Hey man, don't. I got this job when I was 16, bro. Bro, get that shit. You gonna save you. Even you an athlete, bro. Get that shit. Don't save you on that, bro. She was saying my ass. I ain't even gonna lie to you. All the shit I be fucking paying for. Saying my ass. Then you be having a bunch of money to do, do it. Hey, bro. That shit be lit, bro. Hey, man, y'all. That's it. Y'all don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. We out there, bitch. You know what's up. It's Sat Around the Cannon. We out, bro.